So readily I'm back here, moving on. The next session is going to be prepared speech. Here we have got prepared speakers to deliver a speech based on a select topic. Yes, they're expected to talk between a defined timeline. Timer, I would request you to have a check on this. Dear today's speaker and dear tomorrow's speaker, freedom of speaking or freedom of speech and expression is not a right, it is a responsibility. With this note, I would like to introduce the first speaker of the day. He defines himself as a lifelong learner. He wants to be a student always. His moment of freedom is on quitting corporate career. To share the guiding principle for his speech, can I have Toastmaster Amit, the evaluator? Yes, Toastmaster. Thank you, dear Modi. The pur purpose of the speech is for the member to introduce himself or herself to the club and learn the basic structure of a public speech. Thank you, Toastmaster. With this, may I call upon Toastmaster Vigneshwar to deliver his icebreaker speech. A boy turned into a man. This is under presentation mastery category, Toastmaster Vigneshwar. Thank you so much, dear Modi. Good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters and uh, welcome guests. Uh, I was born in a traditional Indian family which follows a set of protocols to live their lives. And my parents were the only ones who were different, though not much from the rest. My mother is a wonderful and a beautiful woman, and my father is the only gentleman I never known at that point of time. And both had a different perspective of life. I joined school and I was an average at studies and uh, uh, the only thing I was so passionate about at that point of time was cricket. It wasn't a very rare passion that you cannot find in anyone else. Everybody back then in India, we had only two forms of entertainment. One was cricket and the other was cinema. I chose the former one. And it was I was really good at it. And I kept on playing. Having seen my potential at the age of 12, I represented my school and indeed won trophies for it also. I thought like that was my calling. I kept on doing with the work I've been, do I've been doing. And then one fine day what happened was there was also a dip in my studies and my parents were called out. And my teachers told them that cricket is not going to lead you to anywhere. And study is what you have to have. That is the only choice you have. My mom immediately looked up on me and she said that, son, I see something in you, but this is not what you should be, what you should be doing at this point of time. Maybe you should uh, focus on your studies and go on doing, and then we'll see what happens. I didn't have the courage to follow my intuition. I quit cricket and I I, went, I, you know, I focused on my studies and even came up with good grades. I decided to join engineering, like most of them did. And I still don't know why I chose triple at that point of time. It was, uh, I didn't even know what triple is, let alone knowing what a mission or what a motor or generator would be doing. I didn't know anything about it. The only reason I took triple was the fact that my neighbor also took the same decision. We both did the same thing and it was a disaster. And what one, one point of time is like, uh, uh, I had a calling for something else. It was all about acting. I was really interested in acting. And uh, I participated in a few competitions and we did some short films with my friends over there. And uh, I participated in every festivals out there. And I thought, look, this is what I have to be doing right now for the rest of my life. So I went to my mother and I told her that, okay, uh, mom, I'm going to quit my college and pursue acting as a profession. My mother again looked on me and said that, son, I see something in you, but this is not what you should be doing at this point of time. What you should be doing rather is, you should focus on your studies again, you come out with good grades and uh, you land up in a job. In one or two years, I'll find you a good girl so that you can get married and hope you continue whatever you want to. I again agreed with whatever she said. I again went on with my studies and uh, it all went well. I came out with good grades and even after, uh, uh, when I completed my graduation also, I landed up in a very good job in a MNC and it all went fine. In one or two years also, she made sure that she got a good girl for me. She was a beautiful and wonderful woman. We got hitched, we got married and everything went well. Then in my professional life, in all these four years of my life, uh, again, I was really good at um, 
software, I would say, but that wasn't my calling. I had a calling for something else, again, at this point of time. I, it was all about filmmaking. I want to make films, I want to make short films, I want to make uh, documentaries, I want to travel all over the world and make sure I'm really good at it. I, I decided to start making short films and I did some four to five films also. And then what happened was, uh, uh, it happened to be a fact that I got a chance to have a conversation with a uh, well-known South Indian film director and they saw my uh, body of work and they were very appreciative of my heart also and they said that okay you have to go and pursue whatever you should be doing right now. I think you should be doing this for the rest of your life. I thought like okay this is what I should be doing and uh, again went to my mom and said that no, I thought of like uh, going on uh, telling to my parents as well as my wife because they are all part of the family, right? Uh, suddenly something, a reality check struck on me. What it was like, if I go and tell this to my mother again, she will again come back to the same thing, which will say that, I see something in you, son, but you should not be doing this at that, uh, this point of time. This is what it should be saying. Uh, the next thing she'll say is like, you're already married, you have a wife with you, next thing what you should be doing is you need to have a child and then you see what you should be doing. This is what I, I was thinking that this is what you should be saying. I, I decided not to tell to her and I went and spoke with my wife about all these things. She was very skeptical about this very first and then we had an argument, we had a conversation and then we agreed on that that I should quit my corporate career and uh, went on to pursue filmmaking. And uh, at the very last, what happened was I got a chance, I've, cho I've chosen as an assistant director to one of a, uh, I mean, a famous South Indian film director whose name is uh, Atli. I'm sure most of us in here would know about who Atli is. So now I will say that uh, I'm working as an assistant director to him. And I've been very happy that I've made this decision. It has been a wonderful decision all in my life. This is the best decision I've made in my life, I would say. So. To sum it up all, had I been the kind of person who once I was, certainly I was a boy at that when I was in college or school, I was certainly a boy. I didn't have the courage or, uh, to follow my intuition, but uh, from all the things that came in my life, from all from sorts of wisdom and uh, everything that came in my life, I took it up and I decided to follow my heart and uh, go on with that. And the boy who once I was has turned to become a man. But suddenly, something struck me. I just woke up. It was all a dream. And I'm still a software engineer working in an MNC which is 10 kilometers away from my place. Thank you so much.